Hey y'all, welcome to Popcast. My name is Dr. Popular. I am a uh, professional yo-yoer and daydreamer and game creator, blah, blah, blah. This is Popcast, the original yo-yo vlog where each episode I like to take a yo-yo trick concept and break it down and kind of explore bits of that concept or idea. Um, this episode uh, was suggested by Eric Mishker on Patreon. Uh, he's one of my Patreon sponsors and Eric suggested doing a video about buckets I love the idea. I had a few buckets that I'd created, so that's what we're going to talk about. Um, so stay tuned for those. Uh, speaking of Patreon, huge shout out to Andrew Cassidy and all the rest of my Patreon sponsors uh, for helping making show, making this show possible. I really appreciate your help. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash docpop uh, to help sponsor the show. You also get 10% off of yo-yos on drpopular.com. And you can also suggest show ideas or ask questions or even do Zoom hangouts. A couple weeks ago, we did the a yo-yo over internet protocol where we hung out on uh, a uh, Jitsi, you never heard of it, but anyway, we hung out on Jitsi and um, talked about yo-yo history, talked about trick ideas, people showed me what they were working on, uh, I went through my collection, it was a lot of fun. So patreon.com slash docpop to find out about all that extra stuff, but let's talk about buckets. Thanks Eric again for the suggesting this idea. So let's get started with uh, just a drop in the bucket, the core of the bucket tricks. There's all sorts of ways to do it. This is the way I like to do it. Super easy. And here you can kind of see the defining parts of the bucket, right? You've got uh, this kind of triangular shape and you've got like a trapeze, but the trapeze is intersecting this string. Rather than, rather than putting it on my finger, we have this string here. That's what makes the trapeze. So that's kind of what makes a bucket. Here's how I do the basic drop in the bucket. This isn't my trick. This is just one of the many ways to do drop in the bucket. I like to throw a breakaway, uh, keep my palm up, pinch with my pinky finger, bring these two fingers close together, wrap. So that's my thumb and my pointer finger are now wrapped and I open them. And now you're gonna get that part where you're gonna intersect, bam. So all I do once I, once I open that is just pull and it's super easy to catch. One more time, just the bare bones drop in the bucket looks like this. Break away, pinky, put your thumb and your pointer finger together and just wrap the string around. I, I do a little kind of clockwise wrap, open that up, hook, and then just pull. Bucket. All right, let's get started with the bucket variations. This first one is called Bucket of Nothing. It's kind of dumb. It's a really old one, but I still think it's worth sharing. Start with the trapeze, bucket, cool. All right, now here's how you're gonna do that. Uh, starts with the trapeze, your thumb goes in and then your thumb's gonna do a little curl. It's going to do that twist. And once I do that, I hook and pull. So once that thumb is through, once it goes through here, it's going to go back and circle through here and that's really just going to make a twist. So now you've got that twist that you need. Let's get into the next one. I like to call this one duck bucket. I've never actually called it anything before, but for this video and for, I guess, posterity's sake, duck bucket. Now there's really two ways that you can start the duck bucket. I always used to start it with a one and a half mount and then a pop out. Um, and that's still probably what you'll see me do the most. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna say the duck bucket actually starts cross-armed and then goes into the bucket. So let's break that down. What's gonna happen is you're gonna throw a breakaway and you're gonna just cross your arms with your yo-yo hand over your non-yo-yo hand. For me, that's my right hand over my left hand. I'm gonna catch uh, basically a, a one and a half mount, but cross-armed. Uncross your arms, and now I'm going to hook and bring this finger up, but I'm gonna do it as I hop the yo-yo out. So hop the yo-yo out, the finger hooks, points up, and then I just get my thumb in. And you're in a trapeze, a bucket. Cross arm, uncross arm. Now the yo-yo is gonna go on this side, it's gonna go out and as I do that 
I'm also going to hook this finger and turn it. So we're going to do that little rotation. So that's done. Now all I do is get my thumb in, catch. Now when I do this pop out, I actually like to pop it out and bounce it on the side of the string. It just kind of gives it this nice boom. As I do my twist, boom, catch. So speaking of dumb bucket names, this next bucket is so brand new, I don't even have a name for it. So I'm gonna ask you to come up with a name for it. What you can do is go to patreon.com slash docpop, D-O-C-P-O-P, find the post with this video, uh, the video that you're watching, find that post, and leave a comment with the name that you think uh, this next bucket should be called. And I'm giving away a PDX Yo Swamp Monster, a, a brand new Swamp Monster from PDX Yo. So here is the yet unnamed bucket trick. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's break that down. So you can tell what I'm doing is I'm starting with a double or nothing uh, and then immediately popping back out. And I'm going to mount on this side of the string. So I'm just gonna basically double or nothing mount on this side. But what I like to do is um, pinch. <laughs> so I, I actually do that pinch while uh, while the yo-yo is mounting, not before, like right at the moment, I guess, right here, that's when I do that mount. So it's a one and a half, and then reverse, pinch, and let that carry over. Once that carries over, what I'm gonna do is intersect and hop the yo-yo back and hit. So again, we're gonna work on just that first part and then we'll talk about the second part. Double or nothing, right when it hits, you just pop it back out and go around. Then I'm going to pinch and as it mounts, that just carries over. So now I've just got this beautiful loop of string hanging there, all right? Now on the second part, we're gonna intersect here. We're just gonna bring this string over uh, if you leave it over here, it won't do the bucket. So you're gonna leave it here. And what's gonna happen is the, this bucket, it, the, the yo-yo is gonna swing around while everything else stays stationary. This is gonna swing around and go here. And then it just drops. You can see that intersection right right there. You can see that little intersection, super important. And then it's going to mount on this string and pop. So now you'll kind of be in this position. You just put your finger in and pull back. Now I'm going to try to flip the circle all the way around. It's gonna do a full 360. The yo-yo is gonna do a free 360. And I wanna re-hit that string in that process. There we go. That's it for the buckets for this trick. I do wanna say I have one more bucket concept that I think is really fun. It's called infinite buckets. Uh, I'm not gonna show a tutorial for it here because this video is already too long. I'm gonna make a separate video for my Patreon sponsors and show it to them. And then you can ask them to show it to you, I guess. Uh, but yeah, here's, here's just how that trick looks. So if you want to learn that trick, subscribe to the Patreon and I'll post it as a bonus video there at some point. 
uh, and that's called Infinity Buckets. That's it for this week's podcast. I hope you enjoyed those buckets. If you uh, come up with anything crazy with them or you just want to show your, your progress with them uh, and you're on Instagram, be sure to use hashtag podcast yo yo, P O P C A S T Y O Y O. Um, that way I can find them and we can share them and see what each other's working on. Uh, the next episode of Popcast is going to be a cool one. We're going to talk about this yo yo. This is a brand new yo yo I'm working on with uh, Jeremy from Zipline Strings. It is a slim version of the Weekender. It is a modern responsive yo-yo with kind of a silver bullet feel, but not really. Like definitely more of the Weekender than the silver bullet, but more pocket size. It's crazy. It's a really cool yo-yo. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I guess I already have. But next episode, you can learn more about Jeremy, zip line strings, what they've been up to. Uh, we're going to talk about redirects, which is a type of modern responsive uh, flourish that you can throw in. And of course, we're going to talk about the Day Tripper and its release date and all that information. So stay tuned next week for more Popcast. I'm in next month.